Hello again, everybody. Welcome back. It's episode two Taxi Takeoff Through to Cruise in the RJ Professional for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So welcome back, I hope you found episode 1 particularly useful, uh, share your thoughts as always in the comments below, if you do enjoy these and you're new to the channel I'd love it if you chose to press that subscribe button but it is of course always up to you and give us a little like as well. We're following straight on from where we left off with no hesitation, so we've done all of the after start checks, uh, what we're now going to do is taxi take off and then work all the way through to cruise, so everything as is as it is from our last episode. What we're now going to do is press LNAV and arm the LNAV system. And we're going to arm the auto throttle. Now I'm going to release the brakes, make sure those taxi lights are on, and increase the throttle a little bit just to get us moving. A little dab of the brakes. Now, for the departure, um, even though it has a VNAV button, in the real aircraft this is not functional. So what we need to make sure we've got is that collar all the way across on 30. That's our bank angle limiter, really important. And uh, when we take off a little later on, you'll see we'll revert into level change mode in order to power the um, cruise effectively. Um, we're going to have our work cut out for us, quite a busy departure and uh, as we get airborne and we're high enough and once our workload allows us we're going to move the TRP mode from Togamax to climb norm uh, and you'll see how that works after departure. Now we know our configuration is good because we've already done that test on the aircraft all we're going to do now is work towards the runway and prepare for departure. Okay, so we're not flying on VATSIM, so we're not going to have any delays on departure. We're going to kind of keep the momentum going and do all of our pre takeoff checks. So we want to go down here and reset the fuel used selector, keeping an eye on our taxi progress. We're going to also now look down and turn the transponder to TARA. You remember that range ring that we had earlier? I'm going to put that straight onto 40. And we're going to put the weather radar on as well. It's low vis at the moment, so this Cat 2 hold here at Alpha 2 is probably what they might be using in real life. So what we're going to do now is strobe lights on work through the rest of that, that all looks pretty good Coming cool please take your seats for takeoff cabin is secured to departure lovely Lining up. So checking the uh, approach path, runway exit lights on, landing lights on, and everything else is ready. So what I'm now going to do is move across towards the edge of this runway as close to the edge as I can safely or reasonably get. A little bit of brakes just to slow us down, ready for this nice tight turn. Lining up. Runway 26. Alright. So this is where the toga button comes in really handy. You can see how I've got my throttles set up. 1 and 2 is controlled by my left 
engine one lever on my Bravo, and two and three and four is uh, controlled by two. I've got therefore slider number one set to the speed brake and flaps configured as well. The other ones are blocked because I've got uh, 737 detents fitted into them. Hence why I've only got sort of two throttles for me to use. So depending on your own configuration, you might need to tweak that a little bit. So, we're going to advance the throttles through to about 50%, keep them going up to 70 or 80, yes, Check thrust. then press toga. Thrust set. We get the call outs and we maintain that centre line in those super knots. gusty conditions. Check. Accelerating nicely here. Here we go. Go. Rotate. We get a little uh, master warning there. Positive climb. Positive climb. Gear up, so we go gear up. Chase that flight director. Keep an eye on it. This handles wonderfully in manual flight. LNAV 1's flashing, so it's picking up now as an active mode. Three six level change. Just going to select that and go to power mode climb. Letting the nose come down. Wind that to one eighty. We we'll start that left turn now. You see it wants us to chase that waypoint there, very tight, so we'll keep it going, otherwise we're not flying the profile correctly. 099 degrees is going to be our next uh, kind of turn point, and with that we're going to have to do a direct 2. So 099. rolling out gently uh, keeping the turn about there what we're going to do is a direct two so we're going to go perch pop that to the top execute there it goes LNAV's already active so we'll roll those wings level now we've got level change 180 autopilot nav one engage uh, we're going through some choppy uh, turbulent conditions now, so we're just going to monitor the aircraft as we go through this. Speed checked, flaps zero. Check. That you that will come around 180. We'll keep her accelerating now. We'll aim for 250. Well, two 245 will do us nicely. We can increase the range on our nav display, there's Perch and Lucid. And then up here now, as we get further up, we can go Engine Air Online. We get the Master Caution because of the uh, air conditioning system switch. APU Air off, APU off. Continuous Ignition off. And we're going to monitor all of this. Uh, as we get a bit further into our climb. Especially going through all of this, we might get icing, so we need to keep an ear out for the ice detection system. You can see there the weather radar now online is picking up a whole lot of weather. So we're levelling off at 5,000, you'll remember from the charts, uh, Lucid level 5 there. Uh, what we'll do now we've shown that working, and it's gone to out hold mode, is just sort of go through that as if ATC have cleared us further. So we're going to set 220, which is our cruise altitude for today. So 
So we go back to 220, level change. And QNH1013 is standard pressure, so we're going to select that. And I'm going to put the anti-ice systems on for all of this cloud. As we turn through each waypoint, we want to make sure we align the heading mode selector with the direction of travel as well. Really important we do that. And that climb norm is good. So we've got flaps up, gears up, no lights. Everything is working as it should, and the amber <laughs> on the uh, weather radar is rather ominous, isn't it? So we'll leave the seatbelt signs on for now. We can turn the runway exit lights off. Wing lights can stay on. They're going to be super important for today in checking uh, for any ice buildup on the engines and the wings and things. This is rather horrendous weather. Hopefully when you fly this, you have a slightly easier time, but... This is what Flight Sim is all about, isn't it? And certainly that breakout through the cloud later, hopefully, is going to look pretty immense. Next waypoint's coming up, so we're just going to turn accordingly. With the heading mode selector switch ready. And as we get nearer to 10, and uh, we go through the acceleration phase, we'll be able to move that IAS mode selector up, turn the landing lights off, and go into our next phase of climb. Pop that on standby now, we don't really need it. I think we might be breaking out momentarily by the looks of it. Oh, yes. Okay, let's go to 280. Landing lights off. 10. So level change mode for climb, vertical speed mode for descent. I'm going to increase that range ring again to uh, 80 now. You can see top of climb at Coton. Once we get out of this cloud, I'll turn the anti-ice off. But we're pretty much max thrust at the moment, so we don't need engine anti-ice. We need that climb performance as well. So once we get clear of the cloud, folks, we can turn the seatbelt signs off. You can go and explore the cabin and all that kind of thing if you wish as well. And... Uh, the engines and the aircraft will settle into cruise at flight level 220, whatever you've selected for today. There's the breakout. Oh, look at that. This little pocket, actually. It's like the eye of the storm, almost. Crazy. I do love this sim. Um, so just manage the systems accordingly and uh, enjoy it. And that is uh, all there is to it. So episode 2, taxi takeoff, climb to cruise in the Avro RJ100 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. That awesome just like RJ Professional Package. So I hope you found it useful. Hit like, hit subscribe, show your thoughts, tips, tricks, and any favourite routes of yours, in fact, as well, while we're at it, down in the comments section below. And I'll see you next time for the descent planning and an ILS approach into Birmingham with low visibility. Take care. Thanks for watching.